Welcome back Square Steaders. Today I've got birds to move, a whole new setup on that whole pasture system and apparently ow, mosquitoes to swat. Let's go. So the turkeys have finally made their way into this area that uh, was a, a pasture um, and if you see behind me you probably can't tell very well until I get right up on it but a lot of that grass is about uh, over knee high on me. Uh, so I need to get in there and bush hog it and cut some of that down. It's a little too tall for uh, the birds to get on. Now the Freedom Rangers way back there uh they're already in here and they've uh in, like in the last video you saw me cutting basically cutting right down the middle of all that grass that's where they're at and all i have to do is i'm going to split it i'm going to have the freedom rangers on one side that's why i went right down the middle freedom rangers on one side and turkeys on the other side uh but in order to do that i need to cut down a lot of this tall grass That's the downfall to uh, clearing land by hand. Not only do you have to uh, do it by hand, but you got all these stumps to deal with for many years later. Woo, what it would be like to push hog on flat ground without a bunch of stumps. Let's keep going. Makes it rough on my equipment too. <laughs> Luckily, the night and the washer stayed on the bush hog, but uh, I gotta fix that now. All right, I hope that did it. So. Back to work. Okay, now that the uh, the pasture is bush hogged and cut down a little bit, I've I just moved the chickens into their new spot, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is give them a little more free range. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab our spare Premier One fencing and give them just a little bit of an area to uh, um, to free range and and just give them a little bit more area. I've got the fence. I might as well. So uh, I've got them, uh, I was going to start coming back up, you know, y'all saw the line and I'm going to have them on this half of the pasture, um, 
but I think I'm going to just go ahead and fence this off and see how long it lasts, you know, see what kind of disturbance they, they make. I'm just going this, this little corner, this area that I couldn't bush hog very well. I don't know, probably out of focus. Okay, so that little area there that uh, I couldn't bush hog because of this big old stump and I've got a big old gum log laying there that's just rotting. Uh, I was able to bush hog that area. Point being, I'm just gonna fence them in this little area and see how much they can get done. Okay, so there they are. You know, I like this Premier One fencing. I mean, let me clear that up. I like what it does. I just despise what it takes to make it work right. Uh, stretching this stuff out, man, if there's a chance in, in the world at all that this thing is going to get tangled up or hung up on the prongs or hung up on a, the smallest stick you got on your whole property, that stuff's going to do it. And I see... Yes, I'm out of breath because I'm mad. I'm <laughs> this stuff irritates me. It's so frustrating to use. I, I see like Justin Rhodes using it every day. And I don't know how he doesn't lose his mind. Uh, and I see these other channels using it. And it's just like all's good in the neighborhood when they use it. And I use it and it looks like I'm having a seizure when I every time I try to unroll this stuff. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot I'm doing wrong, but still. Anyway, I'm about to let these chickens out. So I decided to separate this area and give these chickens an area and I'm about to give the turkeys an area. Um, I, I'm doing that because they're getting older and we are on our downhill slide of all these birds and processing uh, our own food uh, and we won't do this again until the spring. So uh, we have two weeks left until we process quail. We have four weeks left until these guys here are processed and the turkeys won't be until uh, Thanksgiving, but then we won't do anything. We won't put any birds out on pasture again until the spring. Uh, so, yay for being on the downhill slide. We're getting closer and uh, and just packing up for winter and, and all that. So, that's why I gave it. Uh, they are getting old enough now. Now, these are Freedom Rangers and they do grow out in roughly 12 weeks. So, they're already eight weeks old. So their last four weeks, I want to give them as much opportunity to forage and get bugs and find all of the things that they love in life um, as much as possible um, before they're processed. So that's why I'm doing this uh, and I'm minimizing their area. I'm kind of keeping it in a small area because uh, if you give them too much of an area, they don't really work the land as much. So I want them to work the land and eat the good stuff. Follow me? I hope so. So, that's it. That's it. I think uh, I've gabbed about that enough, but that's my process and, and why I'm going the route that I'm going. Anyway, y'all, uh, if you like this video, give us a big old thumbs up. Push that subscribe button if you haven't already and push that little bell for notifications on when we put out videos in the future. This is Mike with Square One Farms and until the next one.